Nick, you saw this team last night and just in what ways was this one different and what was just the biggest concern? I mean, they were firing on all cylinders and we weren't firing at all. Um, I think the score the score showed that and it was just a rough night for, for everybody. As talked about just effort not being there. What, what do you think, what do you attribute that to as far as just the effort being different than 24 hours ago? It was just knocking down shots. I feel like, I feel like it's always like that when we come here, you know, they, that's kind of the story that they were hitting shots. We weren't making any shots. They were forcing us to shoot the shots that, you know, they wanted us to shoot. And I mean, that's the game. They were getting out in transition. They were just having their way and our energy wasn't there. And we just, just got to regroup. Now we got to break. These last two months have just been a lot of disappointments. I guess since even at that Denver game, it's kind of when this swim started a little bit. How do you guys not let this one linger with all those losses now with the break coming and obviously a sense of urgency to try to get this play in spot? And we just got to flush it out, have short-term memory. Uh, like you said, it's definitely been, an, it's been disappointing. The season has been pretty disappointing, if we're just being honest. But we just got to have short-term memory and get acclimated with the new guys um, coming back after the break. Did you think guys' minds were already off on their vacations? I think that's always a challenge, especially the last couple of games. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's the reason that we, we got punished. We just, you know, give credit to Boston. We just, we just weren't there tonight. The Celtics team is one of the top teams in the East. Just what can you guys take from this as you guys gear up, gear up for the last stretch of the season, and what type of wake-up call could this game be? And we just got to take it to the chin. Nobody wants to finish the year like that. Um, just got to have pride. You know, Boston, like I said, you got to give credit to them. They got the best record in the league for a reason. And we got to regroup um, coming back. Do you guys, he's so influential to what you guys do. Do you guys almost need a, a with Ben game plan and a without Ben game plan? I mean, the way he pushes the pace and creates open threes for a lot of people. I mean, we play without Ben a lot, but it's definitely a totally different game, a totally different game for everybody when he's he's out there. We're playing fast. He's getting guys open looks and transitioning. Just the overall flow with our offense, and then having a new point guard with Dennis, not knowing um, as many as of our sets. But you know, we can't make excuses. We just gotta just gotta regroup. How do you accelerate getting Dennis up to speed? I mean, you only have I guess you guys were all going on break. You got the one full practice before you go out on the road, maybe whatever, light practice. How do you accelerate that process of getting him up to speed with everybody? Uh, just watching film and learning from it. But, you know, it's, it's more than just offense. You know, they, they score way too many points. They score too easy. So it's also it's also defense, you know, just making it making it tougher for them. What, what do you attribute these last two months to, you think? It's maybe there's, there's like one or two issues that have been just standing out from this, this stretch. What do you think has been the root causes of it, you think? I mean, it's been everything, been shot, shot making, us not getting enough good looks um, consistently. And, you know, defensively, we've been somewhat solid. It's been kind of up and down. Um, but we just got to stay positive, man, and just regroup after this break.